this afternoon uh, uh, the body of Sage Stallone was discovered unresponsive in the residence. Uh, law enforcement responded, LAPD and paramedics, and he was pronounced. Uh, we're currently doing an investigation in the cause of his death. There is a security hold that's going to be placed on the case. All we can confirm is that uh, he has passed away and uh, we'll be doing an autopsy in the next couple days. Alrighty guys, today's story is a tragic one. A young actor gone way too soon. Not only am I going to take you to his final resting place, I want to take you to the house and tell you some of the details surrounding his death. Now before I get started, I have to tell you, I've never had the privilege of meeting Sage. I've been around his father a few times, both at the original Sin premiere, going way back, and then also when I was an extra in Rocky Balboa, when we shot in Las Vegas. Let me tell you about the tragic death of Sage, some of the details surrounding it, and we will visit his final resting place and pay our respects. His house and the house he passed away in was located right at the corner of Mulholland and Laurel Canyon on Mulholland Terrace. No one had talked to him for up to a week before he passed away. This wasn't out of the ordinary, as Sage usually worked on projects and lived a very reclusive life. Now his housekeeper had been there earlier in the week, but had always been told never to enter his room. As it had been some days since anyone had talked to him, his mother, Sasha, was worried and contacted the housekeeper. She asked the housekeeper to go into the room and check on Sage. Now it was on this day, July 13th, 2012, that the housekeeper found the body of Sage Stallone. Now, news outlets at the time started immediately reporting it as a possible OD from drugs or suicide. But in the end, it ended up being coronary artery disease. It ended up being a heart attack that led to the tragic loss of Sage Stallone. So news outlets immediately showed up at the house and of course got footage of the coroner's van and them taking out the body but it all happened right here in this house behind these gates at the corner of Laurel Canyon and Mulholland right here in Studio City. Now his father had just come from a convention in San Diego when he heard the news and he did make a public comment about it during an interview for The Expendables. I mean, it's, it's very, very tough, but if you have good friends and your family support, it's, it's just something that, it's a horrible situation, but, you know, time hopefully will heal and you, you try to get through it, but it's just something that, it's a reality of life. Maybe there's a little comfort in, if you have yeah. to go through it and doing, working Yeah, it's, well it's good, it's, you know, uh, I think it's important to get back and, and try to uh, start reliving your life, otherwise you can you can go into a spiral. Let's go over and visit his final resting place and pay our respects to Sage Stallone. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to show you the grave, the final resting place of Sage Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's son, gone far too young, but it's right here 
at Westwood. So let's check it out. Alrighty guys, we're at the final resting place of Sage Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's son, young actor, died way too soon, but this is his final resting place here at Westwood. Now, he was an actor in his own right. He had done movies with his dad. Uh, you enjoyed this, Sage. Tell us about it. Well, I enjoyed it, though. Did you? I mean, you know, I got paid. Uh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me, like you need it? I like, I like talking to my father. Excuse me, you're in the will, pal. You don't need yeah. it. You're all right. Uh, look at this. Kiss her no. here. Is this a nice-looking young man? Yes. I like working with my father. Yeah. I like making the film. I mean, he gave me a lot of advice on the film. And, uh, you know, it was interesting. It was an interesting job. Now, he, mm. uh, truthfully, he, he, you know, that old saying, like, nepotism begins at home and all that. But um, he had to audition for the part because I didn't want the responsibility of having this on my conscience if he didn't deliver. So as many people as, the, as are in this audience auditioned, and he came out on top. And this was not my choice. It was the studio's choice. Yeah. So you did very good, boy. Very, very well. Let me, uh, I want to show you. Uh, and it can be no picnic uh, working with your pop, especially when he's at the top of the billing. Uh, but, and you had to be a little scared here. Oh, please. Especially the first scene. Because I, I don't know. Um, I had no idea what was going to happen because I was nervous too. And he came out there and I said, my God, he's got nuance. This guy's demolishing you. He was the eldest child of Sylvester Stallone. Now, on July 13th, 2012, he was found dead at his home in Studio City. He hadn't been heard from for a few days before that. And he died of coronary artery disease. It's such a sad story of someone who died much too young. But this is the final resting place of Sage Stallone. Alrighty guys, I'm glad I was able to show you the final resting place of Sage Stallone. Right here. Sylvester Stallone's eldest child, an actor in his own right, he had performed with his dad in the movies, but he's right here. May he rest in peace. That's the final resting place of Sage Stallone. I appreciate you watching, subscribe, Let's go on more adventures together. Thanks.